When using a HyperDoc, teachers may wonder, what does this look like in Google Classroom for the teacher and student? I create HyperDocs with links to activities. Post the HyperDoc as view only, and the actual assignment as each student will get a copy. In Google Classroom, click on the three dots of the assignment and copy that link. Take this link back to your HyperDoc, select the text in my class, it's period three, and make a link. Paste that link. But how does this look from the student's point of view? A student would open the view only document and they would read the directions. They would open any links that it tells them to open, for example, the one on Iban Batua, and then they would click on that link that you added to the assignments. They click on the assignment with their first and last name, and they can get started. Now, here are a little bit extras that you can do in Google Sheets. If you click on View and go to Freeze, you can freeze the two columns so that you can see the latitude, longitude, plus place, regardless of how far to the side you go. Using tab resize, you can read and take notes at the same time. That same link can be used again and take the students back to the spot where they're going to share their assignment. Students simply click on the Create button and create the Google Sheet or Docs or Drawings here. But what if later you decided the students really needed a template for the postcard? Simply add a new assignment where students will get that template. Use the three dots to get that link again and go back to that view only hyperdoc. Make it a hyperlink. Students will automatically have that link and when they click on it, it will take them to the postcard assignment. To review, make your hyperdoc a view only and then use the three dots to copy the link and finally add that link to the viewable only pipeline.